and brought directly here to our campus with our patients at our uh, brand new amazing facility. Um, it's hard to believe that it's been two years since we last crowned King Bacchus, and we are incredibly excited today to crown the 2022 King of Bacchus, Josh Dumel, uh, with a very special uh, patient crowning by Mary and Drew this morning. We're thrilled that they're here. Um, I would like to sincerely thank all of you for bringing smiles to so many faces today and over the years. Uh, the spirit of carnival season brings joy and really a welcomed sense of normalcy to our patients, our family, and our team members. So thank you very much for being with us here today. And now it's my pleasure to turn it over to the Bacchus captain, Mr. Clark Brennan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It is beautiful, and it's a great win, and it's so happy to have Mardi Gras back, as Lindsay said, to bring some normalcy back to our city, to our state, uh, to our citizens. And it means so much, Mardi Gras, it's a tradition, it's family, it's what people do. And uh, you know, when we have great guests come to town that have never experienced Mardi Gras before, and we, it's just, it just gets me excited to talk about what we do as citizens of New Orleans uh, for the world to see. And one of Bacchus's main points was, uh, for, for many, 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 many years, we've been coming to Children's Hospital to bring the focus to the children, number one, and to the great work that the nurses, the staff, the administration do. And so it's a little bit of what we do to give back uh, to y'all and to the community. And uh, I'm just thrilled to be back in Mardi Gras. I'm excited. It's going to be a great year. And it's great to see everybody here. But with that, I am going to turn it over uh, to our ki great king, Josh Damal, Bacchus 53. So hail Bacchus. Hail Bacchus. <laughs> Well, hi, everybody. Uh, this is truly humbling to be able to come and uh, be a part of something like this. This is my first time uh, attending Mardi Gras. I spent a lot of time in New Orleans over the years, and I never had a chance to actually come to Mardi Gras, especially to now ride on the float. We just got to see uh, some of these floats that were, that were going to be in the parade. I got to see the one that I'm going to be on tomorrow. And I was like, how did I end up here? <laughs> This is so cool. I have no idea what to expect, but it feels like it's going to be something like I'm never going to forget. And to be able to come here and to see all the kids and to see all of you who, who, uh, who work here at the hospital and, and help these children, you're all saints. You're New Orleans saints. The true, the true New Orleans saints. Uh, and and I, am, I am very, very honored, very humbled, very, uh, very excited about this week. And... Uh, it's truly an honor to be able to come here and spend a little bit of time with you guys this morning. So, uh, sorry about the cold weather. I was just in San Antonio two days ago. It was 80 when I got there, and it was 30 when I left. I got here yesterday. It was about 75 degrees, and now what is it? About 45 degrees. I don't know if it. I don't know if it's just me or what. But anyway, uh, stay warm. Uh, God bless you all. Thank you so much for having me. This is truly an honor. Thank <laughs> you. 